Hey guys, so we're going to make a pinwheel today for our lab experiment to talk about wind energy. The first thing you're going to need is a regular construction sheet of paper. You'll also need scissors, glue, or tape, and then you also want to use uh, coloring utensils, whether it is colored pencils, crayons, or even markers. And the last thing you will need is going to be a paper clip. Okay? So you're going to take this sheet of paper we need to make it into a square. So let's re try to remember what we made when we made origami. You take this part, fold it like that. And take the bottom part and fold it like this. And then when you are done, you see this extra piece right here? You're going to take that and you're going to want to cut it. So that way our rectangular paper turns into a square instead. And remember, a square is when all four sides are equal. Now, what you're going to do is take the sheet of paper and you're going to decorate the front and the back side. And because I'm a magician, I can easily, boom, decorate it like that and like this. And you can do any decoration you want. Remember, it is your imagination, and your imagination is never wrong. So on this side, I decided to just uh, cut into four pieces and decorate that part. And then I wanted to show how awesome I was by trying to practice writing the words backwards. And I right here, I put school is cool, science rules, wind energy rules too. I drew a couple of my friends over here and uh, some friends over on this side as well. And now, this is going to be the fun part where you take your scissors and then you choose a side, any side, uh, to cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably want to choose this side because I think this side is really pretty. So what you're going to do is cut along the lines right here only halfway. Stop about right there, turn it this way. Boom. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just as long as you get right in the middle, okay? So the next thing you're going to do is uh, take each corner, only one side each, and then you're going to glue it or tape it right here. So this has been my handy dandy glue stick comes into play. All right, so I'm gonna stick some glue right there. Hold it there for a couple of seconds and like you can see a little sponge bob sticking out. All right, glue some more. Now, you don't take this side, but you take the next wheel or the next triangle to pin into the wheel. And look, I have a little heart sticking up right here. Some more glue. Right here, you can see my little flower. Some more glue right here. There we go. You can see the word science, which is awesome because we all love science. All right, so you let that dry for a couple of seconds. Okay, so now you can kind of see how the wheel looks like, okay? And if you look in here, you can see where the wind would blow. And if it blows in here, is the wind's gonna travel from this part to that part. Then you have some energy, wind energy going. Now, after you're done with that, you take your paper clip. All right, it doesn't matter what size or what color it is, as long as you got this paper clip. And what you're going to want to do is bend it like that to where it kind of looks like an S shape. So let's take a look at this like that. You see that S shape? And then you're going to take one side and you're going to poke it out just a little bit more. Make sure you be very careful, don't poke anybody. So it looks like this. So now, you're gonna take the back side of your pinwheel, right here. You see this is the front side where I glued. Then this is the back side, all right? And then you're going to take the back side and you're going to stick this part right in the middle. Be very careful not to hurt yourself. If you need help, do not be scared to ask a grown up or your teacher or even one of your classmates if they understand how to do it very well. All right, so 
So now that should be easy. Poke it right there. And then you're going to take that part and you're going to bend it back to that S shape again. There we go. See? So now you have this beautiful pinwheel. Oops, that part came out. It's okay if you guys mess up, guys. That's why pencils have erasers so you can go back and fix your problems. All right. So now it looks like this. And then what you want to do is blow. You see that? And that right there is your finished product. You can look at it on both sides, the front side and the back side. This is a really cool thing you can do at home and at school. And that's how you make a pinwheel using wind energy.